very legitimate. I feel like I'm in an episode of Forensic Files. I think I got my nails done. Is your stage name Kiki Palmer? Yes, my stage name is Kiki Palmer. Is your real name Lauren Kiana Palmer? Yes, my real name is Lauren Kiana Palmer. Were you born in Illinois? I was born in Illinois, yeah, yeah, that's the state, yeah. Are you ready to take this polygraph exam? I'm so ready for this polygraph exam. Let's start with your career. You've been acting since you were nine, is that correct? Yes, I started acting at nine. Would you say you have any regrets starting so young? Um, I actually don't think I have any regrets starting so young, no. You ever wish you had a normal high school experience? I do wish sometimes I had a normal high school experience, like, just to know what it felt like. Do you think if you went to a normal high school that you would have been prom queen? Ooh, if I went to high school, I think I would have probably been, like, the drama girl. Like, you know, either I would have been into athletics or been into acting and singing. Not necessarily the prom queen type thing. Homecoming court? Homecoming court. Maybe the court. I'd be in the court, you know, because I got the jokes, you know, class clown, maybe. <laughs> so you sing, you dance, and you act. Would you call yourself a triple threat? I mean, yeah, I would say I'm a triple threat, but I, I usually just say I'm an entertainer. I try to entertain wherever I go. Do you ever say to yourself in the mirror that you're a triple threat? <laughs> no, I ain't never looked in the mirror and said, you a triple threat, girl. No. <laughs> so far, so good. Do you predict uh, an EGOT in your future? Um, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Uh, I don't know if I predict it, but I could see it happening because I do those things, maybe, so. I, I never thought about it. Is that accurate? Yes. Your first lead role was in the movie Aquila and the Bee. Is that true? Yes. I, well, my, that wasn't my my first leading role. Yes, it was Aquila and the Bee. I had done films before that, but that was my, my biggest role at that time. <laughs> so would you say you're a good speller in real life? I think I'm a pretty average speller. Can you spell the word handkerchief? <laughs> H-A-N-K-E-R-C-H-I-E-F, handkerchief. That's incorrect. I knew it was. What about pulchritude? Pulchritude. Uh, P-U-L-C-H-R-I-T-U-D-E. Pulchritude? Correct. Not bad. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> when you were acting alongside Lawrence Fishburne, did he ever offer you a red or blue pill? <laughs> no, he didn't offer me a red or blue pill, no. So you starred in Nickelodeon's True Jackson VP as... True Jackson VP, correct? <laughs> yes, I did. I played True Jackson VP. Would you say that True Jackson VP was a better VP than Dick Cheney? What the hell is... Ooh, y'all are really testing me on some stuff that I... I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't... I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. Is she telling the truth about that? That's true. <laughs> Did you ever attend any wild Nickelodeon parties while you were on the show? No wild Nickelodeon parties. They don't usually throw any wild ones, you know. Maybe it's some slime and some cake and food, but nothing really wild. Were Drake and Josh ever at these tame parties? Drake and Josh. Um, I think that maybe I saw them at Miranda Cosgrove's 16th birthday party. Um, maybe I seen them, you know, at some of the Kids' Choice Awards stuff, but... Um, oh, you know what? I did... Drake, I believe. I think we did do a movie together. I seen him there. No party, so. <laughs> what about Ariana Grande? Oh, Ariana Grande, you know, we pretty much kind of grew up together. I know her pretty well. Um, we both were on Nickelodeon around the same time. We actually tested out of uh, high school together. I remember we went, we went together, so yeah, I know Ariana really well. Nice girl. Good friend. Is that true? She's being deceptive. Oh. <laughs> well, I ain't lying. <laughs> So you've starred in Law and Order, Scream Queens, and now Scream. Would you say you have a penchant for the darker side of life? I think I like to dip, dip a little bit in the darker side of life, just like to understand. I, I, my curiosity makes me want to know about the darker things, but if it gets too scary, I'm going back to the shallow end. Is that a yes? Yes. Yes-ish. Have you ever used a Ouija board? 
I've never used a Ouija board. I'm scared a bit of them. Do you believe in psychics? I believe that people can be psychic, but uh, something scares me about the payment of it all. Have you ever been to a psychic? I've never gone to a psychic, but I did go to a past life reader one time, uh, and she told me that my mom and I were sisters. And I, that's like in the past life, my mom and I are apparently sisters, and my mom and I are very close, so I thought, hey, maybe it could be true. We're very, we're thick as thieves, so maybe. So do you believe in mediums? Um, I think I believe in it somewhat, but at the same time, I, it's contradictory to my belief that once you're, you leave your human body, your spirit is not attached to it any longer, so I can't imagine that. <laughs> you know, it's like I can't imagine it, but it's like, so wait a minute, how many lives has this one person had that you're talking to had? You know, how do you know they, it's just, it's, I don't know how it works. I need no, more information, and it could be possible, yeah. And have you ever watched Long Island Medium? I've never watched this show with this, with this lady, no. <laughs> I've never seen it before. She got some nails, though, don't she? Why don't we talk about dating? Are you single? I am single. Do you enjoy dating in Hollywood? I don't enjoy dating in Hollywood, no. Have you ever dated someone famous that the world doesn't know about? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that sounds like a yes. <laughs> what about dating apps? Have you ever tried those? I have. I was on a dating app before, yeah. Raya? Raya, of course, Raya. It's so cliche. I'm embarrassed. Did you ever go on a date with a non-celebrity? I've gone on a date with non-celebrities in my life, yeah, of course. More than I have with celebrities. <clears throat> Would you say you have an age limit for someone you date? I don't want to say I have an age limit for someone I date, but... You know, older guys often seem to be very direct, uh, you know, and when I'm saying older, I mean like 40s. And like, I've wanted to give them a try, but it's like, oh my gosh, when we have kids and you're gonna be like, is your back gonna be still working and your legs? That part of it scares me and I don't mean to be judging of that, but, but I mean, it, that's what scares me sometimes when I think about dating older is I just don't, you know, I don't wanna lose that person too soon. Very sweet. Oh, thanks. Do you think it's ever okay to ghost someone it's definitely okay to ghost someone if they need to be ghosted. I am 1,000% for ghosting because I will ghost you quicker than a second. We, I mean, I'll love you as much, but if you're doing some stuff to me crazy, I will literally, it will be like I never existed. Literally. Have you ever been ghosted? Oh, I've been ghosted before, yeah. I've been ghosted. I don't take to it very well. Do you think open relationships ever work? I think open relationships do work for some people, absolutely, but I'm not one. Have you ever told a friend that you didn't like their significant other? Uh, I don't think I have. Now, I've been honest with my friends, but I don't think it's your place to say what's right for somebody. First of all, I'm not in the relationship. I don't know what parts they're leaving out. I just give my very best advice I can, but I'm more so one of those friends that's like, girl, if you like him, I love him, we cool. Once he's done, he's cut, you know? But if you be down with him, I'm still down with him. Has a friend ever told you that they don't like your significant other? Yes, I had a friend before tell me that they didn't like my significant other, and he didn't end up being a horrible guy, but we, uh, we didn't end up staying together. But I told my friend she needed to mind her damn business. Girl, that was crazy. Now let's talk about pop culture. Would you say you're an active social media user? Yes. Do you enjoy social media? I enjoy social media sometimes. It gets on my nerves when it, I just keep refreshing the page and nothing new happens. Like I hate kind of the addicting at attitude of looking at pages and I really can't stop looking at the cooking stuff. And I don't even cook. Uh, so it's a little bit addictive. I don't like that half of it. Do you know how many followers you have right now on Instagram? Um, I have about, I have 7.6 million. So you check every day? No, I do just see it. I mean, well, I guess you could say I check every day because I'm always on the damn Instagram, so. Somewhat. Do you ever read your direct messages? I do. I read some of them, yeah. What's the craziest thing a fan has DM'd you? Um, sometimes it's some sexual stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, y'all. I just breathe by it. Have you ever slid into someone's DMs? Yeah, I've slid into DMs before, but it's not really like, hey, baby, what's good? It's like, I love what you're doing, or, you know, it's usually me saying, you know, I admire someone or something along those lines. I heard you were a big fan of memes, is that correct? I love memes. I love memes. So you'd say you're pretty familiar with the meme format. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Any idea how you'd memeify this photo? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I would say... 
when you wanted him and he didn't call you back and now you on and he can't stop hitting you. Something like that along those lines. Pretty good. It would be better written if I had more time. <laughs> you call yourself a millennial diva. Yes, I do. So you would say you are a millennial. I'm a millennial to the T. What about a diva? I'm a bit of a diva, yeah. I'm a diva in the sense of I know what I want, I'm particular, um, and, um, you know, and I, and I own myself. I, I work my, my shit. I don't know if I can say that, but you know what I mean? But not a diva in the sense where someone would think I'm rude. I'm not, I would never try to disrespect those that have helped me or, you know, stand by me. I would never do something like that. And would you say being into astrology is a millennial thing? I think being into astrology is a bit of a millennial thing. Um, I mean, I think if we talk to some people in the 70s, they maybe would be talking about that too, um, or saying that they were into that kind of thing as well. Uh, but I do think it's something that's more prominent uh, in our generation, especially with all the apps and stuff. All right, that was the last question. Oh, really? Just one final thing. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? I didn't lie at any point. I really love to be honest. I, I, that's why I love this little gag here that we got going on. I didn't lie at any point. Once he said something I said wasn't true, and I, I don't know how it was not true. I really was being truthful, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Is that true? She's being truthful. I told y'all you could trust a Virgo, hey. Hey, Virgo sun, Cancer rising, Sagittarius moon, we popping. <laughs>